How's it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the PlayStation 4 exclusives that are going to be happening on launch day, and some of the Xbox One exclusives that will be happening on launch day as well. So I'm going to be comparing them, giving you some of my opinions, and then we're going to talk about some of the games that aren't necessarily coming out on release day, but could have a big impact on you know the exclusive war, if you can see my air quotes. So. The PlayStation 4 is a nice lineup of um, you know of games that are coming out on release day. There's two that I really like out of these five: uh, DC Universe Online, Drive Club, Killzone, Shadowfall, Knack, and Warframe. And the two I'm most excited for are shooters: uh, Warframe and Killzone Shadowfall. What's particularly nice about Killzone Shadowfall is it's the first time we're going to be able to see the Unreal 4 engine on a console. So that should be very exciting. The potential there is strikingly unlimited. So I expect Killzone. Shadowfall to be an amazingly awesome game. Uh, the Killzone series, whenever I get a chance to play it, is an awesome world. Uh, great shooter. I can't really wait for it. And also Warframe. Warframe's been on PC for a little bit. There's been some games. Uh, I've seen some people play it. I've had the chance to play it myself for about uh, an hour or so. And it's a really fun game. Uh, it's not a game that I'll take you know as competitively serious as Call of Duty, but it's definitely a fun shooter game, and it's definitely one that I'll be looking into. Alright, as far as the Xbox One, there's only really two Xbox One titles that I'm looking into, and I'm not really as excited as them as I am for the PlayStation 4 ones. So the first one is Dead Rising 3, Forza Motorsport 5, Loco Cycle, Killer Instinct by Double Helix, and Rise Son of Rome. I've never really been into the whole God of War Spartacus game, so Rise Son of Rome uh, isn't one of my, you know, isn't my cup of tea basically. I'm looking forward to Forza Motorsport 5, I've always been a fan of Forza and Need for Speed games. Uh, I really just enjoy uh, racing games, etc. I got the chance to play Need for Speed Most Wanted early this year, so it was a really fun experience. And uh, Killer Instinct is set to be a nice game, so uh, that's going to be cool as an Xbox exclusive. I can't wait to check that out. I'm sure all these games will be nice, but the ones I'm really looking forward to, like I said, are Killer Instinct, Forza Motorsport, Warframe, and Killzone Shadowfall on the PlayStation 4. So some multi-platform ones, obviously, well, some of these are going to be very obvious to you, some of them might not be. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghost, um, you know, Watch Dogs, just to name a few, and then other sports games like your Maddens and your NBAs, etc. So, I feel like there's a pretty good list of, or a pretty good category of games for each console, and then there's a few great games coming on each system, obviously Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, etc., but there's some games coming out in you know the first quarter of 2014 that I think are the real heavy hitters for each console. In particular, the PlayStation 4 has Infamous coming out in quarter one of 2014, which is an amazing game. Uh, you know, Infamous is is a sweet multi or a single player game that I, I've, I've been a fan of. I was able to play the first two; they were amazing. I can't wait. Uh, another one that's coming out is Planet Side 2 for the PlayStation 4. Uh, I know the guys over there are going to be working at that, and then you. You have developers like Naughty Dog and uh, the developers of Heavy Rain that are most likely going to do sequels for Heavy Rain and The Last of Us 2, which would be absolutely amazing. If you've never played Heavy Rain, an incredible game, such an immersive game, and obviously you guys have all heard of The Last of Us. It's got like the most Game of the Year nominations ever. Uh, it's going to be competing with Grand Theft Auto 5 definitely for that Game of the Year nomination. And uh, there's just some amazing things uh, going on as well. So on the Xbox side, we really see the two heavy hitters of Titanfall, which is going to be Respawn Entertainment's multiplayer game. It's, it's supposed to challenge Call of Duty, uh, which I don't think it can necessarily do because it's an exclusive, but I feel like it might be the best game this year. Titanfall has just grabbed my attention for whatever reason, and um, you know I think that's really cool. And kind of like the old man or the old guys, you know, sticking his head outside the box, Halo. Halo keeps coming back, and uh, I think that is going to be very exciting. Uh, Halo's coming back to the Xbox. Uh, we don't know if it's going to be Halo 5 or, or what it's going to be. All I know is Master Chief looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi when he has a robe. He's wearing this, you know, full, you know, super soldier armor, yet he feels the need to uh, wear a robe in a sandstorm. So I don't under quite understand that, but still, nevertheless, pretty cool. So anyways, guys, this has been my list, my comparison, my analysis of some of the exclusives for each console. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about each exclusive. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Let me know what you think. Be sure to also like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. And of course, I will talk to you guys in the next video.